So we're here in Gerard College, Philadelphia, and I'm Maxine Teveno. Toten Towns was commissioned by Choir and Organ magazine. Martin was chosen to write a piece for the magazine. Um, it, consequently, it was dedicated to me, and I received the score in January and began working on that. been a wonderful luxury to be able to sit down and actually record it and it, it's a very exciting very exciting project. Um, the Canadian premiere is happening next month on Canada's largest pipe organ in Toronto so another fun thing. The disc is really predominantly about death, the dance of death, and Hesychia, the only piece that really offers, I think, a sense of hope and a sense of the afterlife. Hesychia, being a wonderful Greek word, um, offers that, that calm that comes after the death. There's a lot I love about playing this organ. The acoustic, I think, is number one. Um, with every great instrument, I think you need to have that good combination of, that good marital combination of room and instrument, and this definitely has that. Symphony 3 was composed in 1911, and it was a very tragic time in Vieren's life. His mother died, his teacher and mentor, Alexandre Guimont, died within, I think, a six-month period. And he was having some marital problems also, and his son consequently got caught up in the shuffle of all of that. Um, the river that flows just outside of Notre Dame flooded that spring, causing huge damage to the basement of Notre Dame, and consequently but because of the rise of humidity levels in the church caused some damage to the instrument as well. So I think for anybody, that six month time period would be a horrendous moment in anyone's life if you had to deal with all of that. And so it was during this time that the symphony in F sharp minor came to be 